Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet. Uh, today we are going to be giving you uh, event tips and, for low levels or people that don't want to buy DLCs or premium. And as you can see here, this is actually my son and my wife, and they are low level without premium or DLCs. So I do obviously have run across this and also rex here as you guys know from the channel who always fishes with us has completed the event with no premium or dlc folks uh so let's get started and also uh what do i mean by low level i mean anything that isn't close to max because uh while a person that is level 64 think might think they are high level they don't have access to a lot of stuff including a bunch of extra money so this is going to help you guys out too. And as you can see, I've done all the missions in the game, including, as you can see here in the completed, all events. So um, all the events that have been done in the past. So this should help you out quite a bit. A few things you should know about events. Uh, some of these are going to sound obvious to some players that have been around a long time. And some are not going to be as obvious. Uh, so for... One thing here uh, that we'll talk about really quickly is events uh, are not going to jump out and surprise you normally. Like, there's never going to be a Christmas event in January or in, in July, you know? Or you'll know when the events are coming, so save up some money. That's a pretty simple one that a lot of people are obviously going to know. Um, but you would be surprised on how many people don't do that. Uh, also, too, uh, when... If you do happen to have for like this event here at Halloween, there is a tournament. Now, last week I did talk about this. Uh, these are your, you know, this unlocks when you sign up for a tournament and anybody can sign up for a tournament, even somebody that just did the tutorial. What that does is that unlocks lakes for you uh, that you wouldn't normally have access to. For example, this one would unlock everglades naharan and blue crab uh, so you would be able to do these missions so these even if you are low level doesn't mean you can't go to them lakes and all three of these lakes that you would have gotten in this one would help you towards the event now for a lot of people they are worried about being low level and not completing uh the event the one thing I want you guys to know is these are not made to always be completed right away instantly. Now, I do them fast for a couple of reasons. I have a lot of knowledge in the game. I've played seven years and done a lot of events. So a lot of times I'm able to do them quickly and also to help you guys out. Uh, one other thing with this is the events are never one year i've never seen an event only be around one year in fact i've only there's only two events ever that have been not you can't still fully do to my knowledge one of them is part of the frankenfish from last year you can still catch all the ogre guards and stuff for example uh, i'm just using an example there's only two that i can think of and that other one would be decorated fish from uh, the christmas event uh, so the progress that you get this year, even if you can't do everything, you are still going to be able to set yourself up for next year to have a bunch of missions done. And, and for example here, the item one is one of the first missions of this event where you're just using the Halloween as an event. Or example, any of this will work for any event. But Leslie Villa is only like level three. Uh, so you can see... Uh, this one was really easy. There was a lot of them. Naharan is only level 10. You know, Falcon Lake is only 14. Tiber is 20. And so on and so forth. So, for example, here, the biggest one in this one is level 26. So that is not high level at all, guys. So a lot of missions. And these that's half of the missions in this event. You know, are lower level missions. So... And the highest mission in this one you could have got to if you had signed up for the tournament. Now, another question I always get, I've gotten this more than any question this year, uh, is where do I get event items or lures? And there's 
a lot of things. So at the end of the video, I will have some in a little montage. But you can get the new stuff uh, in the, pump, for example, at Halloween Pumpkins or Tombstones. But every event basically have this, whether it's presents for Christmas or cannons or uh, anything for, you know, for every event. There's always some sort of item at lakes. They generally have an icon above them, like here. Uh, White Moose actually does have them for this event. So sometimes they have more uh, than that. But you can get the items there. Otherwise, too, in the shop during events, you will see that you can see the uh, baits. Is we'll go to baits. A lot of times you can see them right here. Or you can hit new, and it will cycle up a lot of your stuff as well. Uh, and you can get them with bait coins. And we'll talk more about bait coins in a little bit. Otherwise, in the premium shop here, you can see there's an event deal category. And if there, whatever your event is, there is some, normally some that are really good deal. For example, this one is a super good deal um, for a lot of people because just the, like, for example, the crabs that are in this pack, they basically are, I think they're like 75 on their own. Uh, for to get the same amount you get in the pack, so that is really worth it. Also, too, uh, I see a lot of people that don't want to spend bay coins. When you get higher level, you're going to run out of stuff to spend your bay coins on. Uh, if you're low level, you go ahead and save them. But when you're high level, like even I am, uh, money and bay coins aren't really a factor uh, in a lot of scenarios. For example, Anybody that's watched the videos lately has actually seen I went up in bait coins because of the event, not down. And it's not because of the DLC. I can show you here uh, in the items. Uh, we'll go to here. If I don't use one of the event items, for example, right here, you can see you can get bait coins from your event stuff that you're not going to use. Now, I keep certain things that I feel could help me down the road. For example, this hat has more tackles than other hats. Or um, another way is, uh, like, for example, the chest that we got for this event, we got rid of because I have 66 tackles are not going to help me. And then uh, poles as well. So if you guys have uh, stuff that you're not going to use that you've gotten from other events or in the past, uh, you get uh, bait coins for them as well in quite a bit. So that hat was 20. And for example, just this pole without the reel is going to be, I think, like 100. Yeah, 130. So you can see if you're not going to use any of the event stuff, you might as well get rid of it for bait coins anyway. But make sure it's something you're not going to want for later. A lot of times I will mention in the video whether something is worth keeping or not. Um, when you get high level, some of the stuff isn't worth keeping, like for me. Um, but when you're low level, some of these event items will really help you out. And as you can see here, uh, you can get bait coins even from the event pumpkins or whatever they may be at the time. Uh, this was 13. And even though during some events like this one, some items are super rare, they are still there, folks. Also, just because you're low level and you can't do some of the final missions doesn't mean you can't help yourself out for the next year uh these like i said these events go you know generally years at a time so be super patient guys you don't have to complete it in three seconds even though you're level 10 uh, but you can do some stuff that will help you out next year uh for example you can go to the lakes that are unlocked to you and get items for next year uh, if you can't even do it. So even though you've done the missions, you can keep going to the lakes to get the items. And I will save you some money for the next year when you're a lot higher level. Now for me, example, as you can see up there, I don't have much issues with money. E even for me, I have a, not very much money compared to a lot of people I know because I run around and do guides for everybody at lakes. That soaks up a lot of money. A lot of people will complain about travel costs in here. And when you do get to max for the next event because most likely you guys are going to be max level for the next year's event you're not going to have to worry so much about your money and your bait coins 
Um, for example, every event that I do, I gain bait coins. I don't lose them. Um, just from the items that that game gives you for completing the missions. One other thing, too, is is you're going to get a lot of uh, some of the lower-end baits because some are rare drops in the event uh, the event giveaways, and some are going to be rarer than others. So, example, these are all event stuff, and this one right now during the Halloween event, you could burn up these baits to gain some money, even if you are low-level because you can catch... Uh, a lot of times these event baits are at, at almost any lake. For example, the uh, Ghost Pike, or in this scenario here, uh, the Skeleton Bluegills are at uh, even Lone Star. So you can go there and just farm them. Another tip, and this is a big one for all levels. We talk about quite a bit on the channel. I do a lot of like helpful little tips videos. Uh, that's not a self-promotion, but we've talked about this one. Uh, quite a bit this year uh, Events are almost always better to fish off peak and the reason for that is is if you're fishing When other fish aren't biting very much. They're not going to take your baits and while that is going on Halloween fish don't really or event fish in general don't really have peaks You can kind of catch them whenever the time frame is that you can catch them and they're not really up and down for example the Halloween fish uh, during this event, uh, generally bite at night quite a bit, and it doesn't matter if the peak is high or low. So if you fish at the low peak, a lot of times your bait isn't going to be eating, eaten by regular fish, and if it is, it's going to be at a lot lower rate, guys. Another quick, really few little tips is these missions generally give out bait coins. You can see here, there's three here. Uh, but another big one is folks is a lot of times there is missions that are multiple missions at one lake as you can see uh this one here is at michigan uh this fish coordinates three i'm just using an example because one i saw right off the bat uh this one is at naharan and this one here has some stuff at naharan too so when you're at there, make or at a lake, make sure the mission there isn't more than one mission you can do while you're there. A lot of events have multiple missions at the same spot, like this one, um, and and so you can just use your time wisely and not waste a bunch of money going back a million times. Another big one I see that from uh, players is they don't realize these challenges give you a lot of stuff now There is a lot more challenges even in this event Halloween event There's also like a ghost pike one and whatnot uh, but for example uh, These give you either bait coins or items that you can get rid of for bait coins uh, and uh, These are just these five right here are just five of a couple that are here for Halloween and there's always a lot to do so pay attention to your challenges which is on your profile screen uh, right here um, and I believe I haven't played PC in a long time but I think PC and Xbox have them here too in the same location also because I'm sure I'm gonna remember some sort of tip later down the road make sure you check the pinned comment uh, for other tips and then also for you guys that have done this event quite or, or events in the past, if you have tips to leave them down in the comments. I know I missed a few, but these are some good tips in general. Uh, and like I said, I'll probably remember some I wish I'd put in this video. That always happens. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks.